Hi everyone, I'm Blair Rossick, a 4 h -er from Coffee County, and today I'm here to talk to you about some of the differences between beef and dairy cattle. Also, I'm super excited to introduce our agricultural activity. Today, we'll be making butter. Alabama has approximately 1.32 million head of beef cattle and calves, ranking us 26 in the nation. Meanwhile, we have only 7,000 dairy cows on 35 farms across the state ranking us 45th in U.S. milk production. Also, you may not know, but the hamburger meat produced from one market-ready steer can equal more than 720 quarter-pound hamburgers, while one dairy cow provides more than 1,528 gallons of milk per year, or around five gallons of milk a day, since most dairy cows are milked two to three times a day. Beef is a nutrient powerhouse, providing more than 10 essential nutrients, and it is the most readily available source of vitamin B12 in the world. Likewise, 71% of the U.S.'s needs for calcium come from milk and dairy products. So no matter if you're enjoying a juicy lean steak or a sweet milkshake, you can be assured that you're supporting the Alabama beef and dairy industries. Thanks, Blair. Those are some amazing facts about the beef and dairy cattle industry in Alabama. Hi, my name is Madison T, and I'm the 4-H agent and coffee engineer at County. Today, we're going to be making butter, which comes from the milk of a dairy cow. Behind me is the milking parlor. This is where the cows were milked every day to bring you and me fresh milk. Now let's go make some butter. Butter is made whenever the milk is churned, and the fat separates from the liquid, which is buttermilk. All you will need for this activity is a glass jar with a lid, heavy cream, which you can get at your local grocery store, a strainer, and a bowl for you to put your butter in whenever you get your butter made. Now you will pour the heavy cream into your glass jar. You will only need to pour the glass halfway full. Then you will close the lid tightly and you will shake the jar for 10 to 15 minutes. You can shake the jar up and down, side to side, whichever way you like. While you are shaking, be thinking about how the solid and liquids in the cream are separating creating the butter. After two to three minutes, if you look inside the jar, you will see whipped cream. But that's not what we're going for this time, so let's keep shaking. Close the lid and let's give it to a friend or family member to help. Thanks Blair, I think we're all done. Let's take a look and see. You should find that the butter is solid and the buttermilk around it. You're going to want to strain the buttermilk from the butter. You're going to pour the contents from the glass jar into a strainer. Make sure you have a bowl underneath the strainer to catch the liquid. We want to get all of that buttermilk out so we can have some fresh, good butter. You can also pour water over the butter to get rid of the excess buttermilk. Find something to spread your butter on, like a cracker or a roll. Take a knife. Dip it in the butter, spread it on, and enjoy.